in our previous lesson we have discussed about different types of clouds based on shape and height the different types of clouds based on shape are nimbus cirrus cumulus and stratus now all these types of clouds as we can see from the pictures look very different from one another and on the basis of their appearance or shape we can classify clouds into these types now all these clouds are not formed at the same height for instance nimbus lie very close to the earth's surface whereas cumulus and stratus are formed throughout the entire range of troposphere while cirrus are mostly formed at higher altitudes so these are the different classification of clouds now clouds as we know are masses of tiny water droplets and ice crystals that float in air now clouds are the most common form of condensation but apart from clouds there are other forms of condensation as well let us discuss about each of those types have you ever went for a morning walk on a cold winter morning if you have done that then you must have noticed these shining pearl like water droplets on petals of a flower or blades of grasses now do you know what are these shining pearl like water droplets called and how were they formed during day time the earth surface absorbs sun's heat and at night the earth surface loses the heat very rapidly now when the warm moist air comes in contact with cold surface it transforms into water droplets now these tiny water droplets that are formed on cold surfaces like petals of a flower or blades of a grass are known as dew as we have just discussed they are formed due to condensation of water vapor on a cold surface now dew drops are mostly common on early morning or at dawn when the sky is clear if the sky is clear then the earth surface receives substantial heat from the sun and also loses heat rapidly at night but if the sky is unclear and overcast with clouds then the clouds block the sun rays during day time and also at night the clouds trap the sun heat so the atmospheric conditions are then not favorable for the formation of dew so dew formation is very common on early morning when the sky is clear sometimes on cold winter nights the temperature drops below freezing point during such time the warm moist air lying just above the earth surface freezes immediately and the water vapor present in the atmosphere condenses into dew drops on coming in contact with a cold surface and these dew drops immediately transforms into ice crystals now these tiny ice crystals that are formed on the cold surface like leaves or fruits and berries are known as frost frost is very common in cold countries when the temperature is below freezing point so what is frost frost is a thin coating of tiny ice crystals on cold surfaces like leaves or berries or any other fruits now before we proceed with our lesson let us try to answer this question what is meant by frost is it thin coating of water vapor thin coating of dust particles 
thin coating of ice crystals or thin coating of water drops? Well, the correct answer is frost is thin coating of ice crystals. So, the thin coating of ice crystals is the correct option. Now, we just read that frost is very common in cold countries and frost are usually formed or they coat the cold surface of leaves, berries, fruits, etc. Now, if frost is formed on crops, then it can have detrimental effects. This is because frost can damage the crops and lead to bad harvest. The crops damaged by frost usually have dull and creamed appearance. The flowers turn pale and loses its color. The potatoes in the ground freezes. So, the farmers can have their entire field destroyed during frosty nights. Now, apart from dew and frost, there are other forms of condensation as well. Let us discuss about them. Now, during winters, have you ever heard of flights being cancelled or delayed due to presence of dense white fumes in the atmosphere? These dense white fumes reduces the visibility. As a result, the pilots cannot see and hence the flights need to be cancelled or delayed. Now, do you know what are these dense white fumes called and how are they formed? Sometimes when warm air comes in contact with cold air over a water body, the water vapor present in warm air condenses into water droplets. Thus, a dense cloud is formed very close to the earth's surface. So, this thick dense cloud of tiny water droplets formed near the earth's surface is known as fog. Now, fog is very dense and hardly anything is visible. Also, the floating clouds that we experience in hill station are fog. In metropolitan cities or industrial areas, we often see smoke which comes from vehicular emissions or pollutants released by industries. Now, when fog mixes with smoke, it is known as smog. So, smog is a combination of smoke and fog. So, here SM stands for smoke and OG stands for fog. Smog is very common in industrial areas and in metropolitan cities. Smog is very dangerous as it reduces visibility. See, hardly anything is visible in these pictures because of the presence of smog. Now, smog can also lead to accidents, traffic delays and can cause respiratory disorders. I just mentioned that fog is very dense and hardly anything is visible. Now, sometimes if the visibility is greater than 1 to 2 kilometer, then it is known as mist. So, what is mist? Mist is a less dense cloud of tiny water droplets that are suspended in air. Now, mist is formed in a similar manner as fog. The mist is also formed due to condensation of water vapor into water droplets when warm moist air mixes with cold air. The only difference between mist and fog is that the visibility is more in case of mist. So, mist is another type of condensation. So, these are the different forms of condensation. The first and the most common form of condensation is clouds. Clouds are masses of 
tiny water droplets or ice crystals that float in air. The second one is fog. Fog is a thick dense cloud of tiny water droplets that are formed near the earth's surface. Now mist is very similar to fog but the only difference is that in case of mist it is less dense. Other forms of condensation are dew and frost. Dew is formed when water vapor condenses into water droplets on coming in contact with a cold surface. Whereas frost is formed when the temperature drops below freezing point such that the water droplets condenses into ice crystals. So these are the different forms of condensation. So in today's video we discuss in details about different forms of condensation like fog, mist, dew and frost. In our next lesson we will discuss about precipitation and its various forms. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now